Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I'm gonna to answer probably one of the most common questions I get, which is, Dimitri, I have a finance degree, I'm working on a finance degree, and I wanna get into quant finance, what path do I take? And so I'll link here at the end of the video, so you'll get to the end of the video, there'll be a little screenshot here on why you should not go into quant finance if you have a finance undergrad. You'll, you can watch that video and get the two cents, in my opinion, on that. But if you actually have a finance degree or you're getting a finance degree and you want to go into quantitative finance, there's kind of only one path, a couple little paths here to do this. But I'm just going to lay down the foundation and what you need to be looking for. So you're not going to be able to get a finance undergrad and then, you know, waltz out, go into the world's most rigorous quantitative financial engineering, computational finance, uh, mathematical finance, master's degree, you just don't have what it takes. So that's going to be the first thing just to swallow that pill, realize, okay, I don't have everything I need. I understand that. Now, if you're in school, you can add like a math minor, for example, and you can kind of hedge against that basically by covering the skills that you're going to need uh, for one of these top super rigorous, super math driven, um, stats driven, computer science driven master's degrees. The math classes I suggest you take or try to get covered is going to be calculus one, two, and three, real analysis, probability, ODEs, and PDEs. That's kind of the core fundamental basics here. And I've got a book. So I wish I had this book when I was a finance undergrad, but nobody told me about it until I was in, you know, my first job. Uh, it's called A Primer for the Mathematics of Financial Engineering. Uh, it's by Dan Stefanik Stefanica. Uh, he teaches at Baruch. It's a primer. It gets you ready. It gives you kind of the skills you need to get into a quant master. So I think that's an excellent book to start with as well. Kind of get those skills buffed up. But again, looking at those math classes, trying to figure out what you need to kind of work on a little bit just to prepare you for a master's is a key piece here. Besides the mathematics, I would highly recommend you take an actual statistics class that focuses on linear regression. So I took a business stats class when I was a finance student. It was the biggest waste of time covering stupid Z scores and normal distributions. And then we waved our hands and magically things worked and it's a waste of time. Uh, take linear regression if you can. Um, if you want to do more machine learning -y kind of things, uh, take a machine learning class, but make sure it covers some sort of linear regression, even if it's just logistic regression. That's something you need to cover. And then the second piece here is getting a programming language down. It doesn't really matter, but you need a real programming language. No, SQL is not a real programming language. No, VBA is not a real programming language. I mean, something like Python, uh, C++, or R. Those are kind of the big ones I would recommend if you want to get into the quant finance realm. That will definitely prepare you for stats classes, uh, rigorous classes, and it'll prepare you for the industry as well. So now getting into grad programs here, if you only have the finance degree and you didn't add the math classes and you didn't add the math minor, you're going to have to be a little creative here and you're going to have to look at quant financial engineering programs that do not require a lot of you know, prerequisites. So some of them, like Michigan's program I mentioned, has math requirements. They have a list of math courses you must have taken before you can be accepted into the program. Avoid the ones like that because you're not really going to be prepared for that. Uh, the other programs to look into are those that accept or like well-balanced programs, programs that are looking for those, you know, that are in business schools, for example. I know I've said on multiple occasions, I'm not the biggest fan of quant programs in business schools. Um, yeah, I do think you will get less rigor in your master's degree, but if you're in a bad situation where you have a finance undergrad and you're wanting to get into quant finance for some reason, which again, you should think about why you're doing it, uh, that can be a shoe in the door though. That can at least check off the box. Okay, I have the quant masters, even though I have a finance undergrad, um, and then you can really focus on obtaining those skills. So for example, myself, I had a finance undergrad. I started a financial engineering master's. I absolutely hated it. I dropped it. I got a master's in applied economics and finished that up instead. Focus on the skills. That's what's going to build you the career. It's not necessarily just the degree and the title here, but they're far easier to finish, you know, quant masters if they have a business kind of title to it. Now, if you want to take the other route, so again, undergrad to a business kind of less rigorous, you know, quant finance masters here, the business school route, that's path one. Path two is do something like I did, which is, really focusing on the skills, looking at different programs available, and then trying to select those. And I will note, I took off a semester in the middle of my master's degree and actually studied math, stats, and computer science, just trying to really get caught up to where I should be. And then I went and picked all these classes basically off of an applied economics master's. 
Now, I don't recommend economics to most people as well because most of them don't focus on math, stats, computer science. But the University of Michigan had an amazing program where it was five core courses in econometrics, micro, macro, and it was more math driven. And then on top of that, all my electives I chose in general, I did take one fun one in real estate, which I somewhat regret. Uh, but the other ones I took in financial engineering, like for example, stochastic calculus and derivative pricing. So that's the second route. You can pick a master's in like statistics, you know, applied economics, um, I don't know, applied math, something different. But just make sure you're covering a lot of the skills you're going to need for a quant finance master's. And if you're unsure about that, you can look online at other quant, you know, financial engineering masters and figure out what they're teaching and then try to get something kind of in that realm. So anyways, that's my take. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.